The myth is that if you have a low SWR, you have a good antenna, one that radiates well. High SWR, bad antenna. Now, if that's the case, I'd like to show you the very best antenna you can get. This is called a dummy load antenna. This antenna is all band, 160 through 10 meters, very compact, with an SWR of one on all bands. I think I'm going to sell them as a miracle antenna. Now, take a lamp, a lamp, like here, there's a lamp. Saying the measurement of standing waves in your feed line determines antenna efficiency is like saying the efficiency of the bulb in that lamp is determined by the lamp cord. Cord has nothing to do with how well the light bulb works. That's determined by the nature of the bulb, how much light it puts out and how hot it gets, which is wasted power. Now, like a lamp cord, your coax cable only connects your transmitter to the antenna. It really has nothing to do with the antenna itself. SWR, standing wave ratio, tells you how your coax cable is performing, not your antenna. SWR is not really determined by the cable at all. It's only determined by the match at the feed point where the cable connects to the antenna. A proper dipole has an impedance of about 70 ohms. So if your coax is 50 ohms, your SWR is 70 divided by 50, or 1.4. Hey, did you notice that with a proper dipole, you don't have an SWR of 1? If you do, something's not quite right, like too close to the ground, which makes it a worse performer, unless you want your radiation to go straight up. Nothing wrong with that. That's what you want. Now it's true. A low SWR means more transmitter power is delivered to the antenna, but the antenna itself might be really bad, like an antenna that's too short for the frequency it's being fed. Now, I can understand CB operators not knowing these things. They don't even have to have a license, much less pass an exam. But ham should know better. Shouldn't there be a question on the exam about stuff like this? Maybe there is. I don't know. It's been so long since I got licensed, I have no idea. You know, I watched a YouTube video by a ham who was reviewing this SWR meter. Now here, where it says efficiency, he said, that's your antenna efficiency. Completely wrong. This only means that all the power from the transmitter is being delivered to the load. It doesn't mean the antenna is radiating it. The load in this case could be my dummy load, which I showed you earlier. Would that mean that my dummy load is a 100% efficient antenna? You know, I'm discovering that if you'd like to learn all the ham radio myths, just watch YouTube. In fact, you know, I'm running a little short of myths, so if you guys could watch YouTube ham radio videos for me and uh, let me know what all the myths are so uh, I can do a video on them. So, how is an antenna's radiation efficiency determined? Well, let's look at the ARRL antenna book. Radiation efficiency. The ratio of power radiated to power fed to an antenna determines the radiation efficiency. It's given by this simple formula here. E equals the radiation efficiency in percent PR power radiated, PI, power fed to the antenna at the feed point. 
You know, if we just read books like this, we might learn something. One way to determine an antenna's efficiency is to use field strength meters and compare those readings to a dipole antenna, which is a very efficient antenna. That should let you know whether that antenna is any good. Now, often, makers of commercial antennas brag about how efficient their antenna is without providing such measurements. They'll publish charts of the SWR curve of a particular antenna, which is supposed to mean it's a good antenna. Well, it might actually be a poor antenna. But ham radio operators will spend a lot of money, buy these things, and then say, oh, it's a great antenna. My first contact was Europe. Well, with good propagation, you can work Europe with a 50-foot piece of wire 10 feet off the ground. Doesn't make that an especially good antenna. I had a ham radio friend who said the best 80-meter antenna he ever had was a wire quarter-wave ground plane vertical suspended from his tower with an SWR of 3 to 1. A 3 to 1 SWR in 80 meters is really insignificant. So, if you really want an efficient antenna, just put up a dipole. It's cheap, and if properly deployed, nearly 100% efficient. Consider subscribing to this channel and 73.